Hi, I'm Wally. And I'm Dave. And we're here with another segment in our series of PVC welding. We're going to kind of go over accessories. Right. So, I'm right here. I have a witch's hat, pipe boot. There's all kinds of words for it. It looks pretty good on you. I mean, look at that. So, it doesn't really matter what you're welding. If you're welding an inside corner, outside corner, things to take into consideration. Mm -hmm. You know, like an inside corner is going to hold more heat than an outside corner. Right. But the bleed out, you know, we're showing, we talked about bleed out on regular PVC, how you can really see it. Mm -hmm. um, when you're welding on supported material, you're really not going to see bleed out. No. You're going to see, what do you call it, a little bit of smooshy? A smoosh. Smooshy. Smoosh. Feel free to use that. That's a scientific term, terminology for PVC smooshy. Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. So in the real world, any penetration, I don't care if it's a curve or pipe, we have to have base adapter, right? Correct. So we're going to have our eye hook plate. Correct. Four around this pipe, and we're going to weld over top of it. Now, if for some reason you have a bigger pipe where it forces this out, bigger pipe, like I can't or tight, I have to put a target down first, right? Correct. So in this situation, we really would need a target. No. So we would install our four fasteners, which we're just doing, we're not going to do, just so everybody's aware, you got to have the fasteners. Mm -hmm. And then we're going to install this over top. Right. So we got to figure out what's, obviously this is for multiple sizes. It goes down to what, a half inch or one inch pipe? Yeah. So we got a three inch pipe here, so I got to cut it down. Mm -hmm. Put it on a pipe, take a pencil or a marker or something, just kind of trace it, figure out what size you need, and then we're going to cut this down. So I, now you really want this to fit tight. So I'm going to cut it a little snug. Better to make two cuts than one that's way exactly. too big. And I'm going to put a little heat, maybe have to heat it up, stretch it over that pipe. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to go just a little above my mark here. If I got to recut it, I just assume, like you said, I'd have to recut it rather than cut it when it's, when it's too big. Yeah, don't cut through your glove. Okay. So that's snug. That's, snug. that's where I really want it to fit. So I'm going to put a little heat on this, try and stretch this out. Put my gun on. Now, with unsupported PVC, do you turn your gun down like you do on TPO? A little bit. I'm going to turn my gun down to maybe six or seven, maybe eight. Oh, nice. Okay. Now it's just a matter of welding this down. So what I like to do on these, I kind of break it into sections. Well, if you don't break it in sections, you can get a big wrinkle going. Yeah, if you get a big wrinkle, you, what you're basically going to do, you're going to follow that wrinkle all the way around. Yeah. Okay, so if I were to break this down in my four sections, now I'm going to kind of start working my way around welding this. Now you'll know, yeah, I'm still doing a two-pass weld. I'm actually going to weld this whole thing down. You can see the bleed out. Notice the smoke and the bleed there, Wally. Right here, again, I've overheated it on purpose. Mm -hmm. This is what we don't want to see, but you're not going to see a big line of bleed out. You might want to knock some of the... The stuff off the end of your your tip there, just like we did on the regular. Yep. So that's pretty much it. You can barely see the white. Right. You know? Well, you can see more of a of a shine or a glaze, if you will. And then to finish off, you'd use your water water block, block band clamp, and then you all purpose on top. All purpose on top. So. What you should do, see how tight that is? Mm -hmm. I would have drew a line on this, pulled it off, put my water block in there first, because it could be a hard time trying to get water oh, yeah. block in there now. Yeah. Good point. 